Outside of China, many experts have their intention on the U.S. and Omicron subvariant XBB 1.5, which has been detected in 29 countries so far. Maria Van Kerkhove, the WHO's COVID-19 technical lead, said global health officials are worried about how quickly the subvariant is spreading in the northeastern U.S. Take a look. Every week, approximately 10,000 people die of COVID-19 that we are aware of. The true toll is likely much higher. We are really concerned about the current COVID-19 epidemiological picture with both intense transmission in several parts of the world and a recombinant subvariant spreading quickly. XBB.1.5 has been detected in 29 countries so far. Um, there may be more as sequencing becomes less and less available at a global level. It's difficult for us to track each of these subvariants of Omicron. So it is part of Omicron. And as you've noted, um, it, is, it is the most transmissible subvariant that has been detected yet. More concerning, we've had a 15% increase in deaths in the last month. And again, we know that that is an underestimate because there's delays in reporting. And with the holiday period and with mixing, those trends are expected to continue. So it's really critical that surveillance continues, that we can track the known variants and that we can better assess um, you know, what is happening globally. Our concern is how transmissible it is. It does have immune escape like we've seen with XBB. Um, but it is one of another subvariant of Omicron that is in circulation. And the more this virus circulates, the more opportunities it will have to change. We do expect further waves of infection around the world, but that doesn't have to translate into further waves of, of death because our countermeasures continue to work. Now, the WHO said it doesn't have any data yet on the severity of XBB1, XBB.1.5, but there's no indication at the moment that it makes people sicker than previous versions of Omicron. Scientists say XBB.1.5 is about as good at dodging antibodies from vaccines and infection as its XBB and XBB.1 relatives, which were two of the most immune evasive subvariants yet. But XBB.1.5 has a mutation that makes it bind more tightly to cells, which gives it a growth advantage.